So the scripture for today describes the events immediately after the resurrection from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 28, verse 2. And it reads, An angel of the Lord came down from heaven and going to the tomb, rolled back the stone and sat on it. And the meditation is the following. Why didn't the angel fly away after Christ's resurrection, but remained on the stone at the entrance to the tomb? It would seem that he should have returned to heaven when the great feat of the resurrection was accomplished. No, he remained on the stone in order to, through his presence, cast light on the stone, transform it, and to inform those mourning for Christ of the victory over death and turn their weeping into praise for the Lord. In this way, the victory of Christ's resurrection casts light on our entire past, on all our graves. It tells us that there is no place there for what we call death. It dries our tears and gives our sorrow a new meaning. Lord, let us also on every sorrowful stone weighing on our heart, see a bright comforting angel announcing the good news, to see an open door for trust and hope, for God's love and the triumph of the resurrection. And as St. Paul says in his second letter to the Corinthians chapter four, verse 17, the abundance of our suffering will create an incalculable abundance of eternal glory.